Welcome to Let's Talk Today. Today we are reviewing the BMW M340i LCI. Yes, today we are welcome to Let's Talk ZA. Um, today we are reviewing the BMW M340i uh, X Drive. It is the LCI, the life cycle impulse for those that uh, want to know what LCI is. Um, it's basically the uh, facelift. So um, during a cycle of a particular generation, um, BMW uh, just do a little bit of a upgrade, a, a, a facelift, uplift to the vehicle um, and this is the LCI of the M340, um, M340i. So let's have a look, we've so got... We have got the BMW LED new BMW LED lights. Yes, so we, um, you can see that the LED lights have now um, changed sides, so where they were uh, below, now they're on top. Um, um, so that's a new... Like there's like a dark blue here. Yes, so there's a dark blue accent, which you'll see um, once the lights are on. Once the car is on, then like it lights up also. Yeah. And then we've got the um, M BMW logo here. So that's the 50 years of M new logo now on the M performance cars as well. Um, we've got the new mm. grill with a little bit of graphite around it. The front camera. The front camera and we've got the um, spoiler the here in the front because it's the M performance so quite nice quite low just how we like it um is the m m logo here yes um, and this wheels are these are by the r they stopped right here so there's it there uh, 19 inch so rims. these are 19 inch rims you can see we've got the red uh, brake calipers I think that you can get blue brake calipers as well, the M Performance brake calipers. Um, I know it was in the 2 Series, I think for the 3 Series as well. Um, we've got the M Performance we, here. We've got the M Performance here, the M Emblem here. Yes, and we've got the side skirtings as well. We've got the cam rear. We've got the side camera the side on the cam M. Uh, mirror. On the M mirror and you see we've got the M um, wheel caps as well so the 50 years of M the wheel caps there as well and we've got um, remember this is an X drive so it means it's a all wheel drive and um, here we can see the um, emblem here and you can see it's M 340i yes so that's the m340i we've and got and then the 50 uh, BMW. 50 year uh, bmw there and the reverse camera reverse camera and then we've got like uh, two exhaust pipes which are very loud <laughs> which are very loud and, and then um, we've got the we've rear got apron here as well and we've got nice um, rear lights which are almost like an L shape um, which are also smoked out and we've got the we've got the spoiler yes the rear spoiler and we've got the um, shark fin there on top if we open the boot it is um, power lift so you just touch a button and then to close it also you can just close it with this button or lock all doors around and then like um, here wait right, you can close the boot yes there is somewhere here where there it is it's closing and you can open it as well somewhere here okay but let's just open it up Luggage space is quite big. We've got about 480 liters, I think. Um, there is no spare wheel. BMW um, have run flat tires, so they do not have a spare wheel, especially in an M Performance car. You want to get the least amount of weight in it so that it can perform better. We've got a first aid kit though, and on this side, we've also got 
um, some space to put um, maybe the tire pressure monitor and here we can just do like uh, this and then the seat will open it doesn't flop down but it does open there you'll see it once we go inside so both sides you can do that and then to lock you can just press that button and I'm really and high to reach it. the boot can come down okay, okay so while we're outside Okay, so the hood is also power lift, which you'll see right now. Okay, so this is the in performance um, three liter six cylinder. It's nice and big. And we've got quite a lot of space here as well, which I like um, before the engine. And you can see that it is power lift. I'm not even holding it. Um, so this is producing about 275 kilowatts um, We can do 0 to 100 in about 4.4 seconds, but we'll speak about that when we inside the car So let's go to the back So, so while we're here in the back, let's just show you that Isa had opened the seat and it is easy for the seat to just fold down We've got extra luggage space now um, it, it does split so it's easy if you just wanted to take one seat down um, if you're moving something quite big or long then you can just do that okay, and, and then we've got you can see all around we've got the um, M colors here on our seat belt and, um, and we've also, got the blue stitching oh, Okay, before we get inside, before we get inside, we've got three uh, electric doors, uh, electric, electric windows, electric windows um, for your water bottle and your snacks and uh, like smaller snacks or like like yeah and then we've got the blue stitching here as well the harman cardon all around we've even got speakers here at the back okay so let's get in so first you have to say how you feel i feel like there is quite a lot of space so my seat is far back as far back as it can go for the driver but i've still got plenty plenty room here um I can still stretch my legs forward and I'm still not um, uncomfortable at all. I'm very quite comfortable here. Um, we've got reading lights here in the back as okay. well. Quite okay. nice. Um, and we've got this nice, I always like the dark hood lining. Um, um, and then in the middle here. We've got the uh, center armrest. We've got the with, center armrest. With the... Uh, Two cup holders. Two cup holders. Okay. It's so cold that it doesn't want to open. <laughs> <laughs> and then here they had like before, uh, like a black part in the middle, because there was normally just two seats. No, that's in the uh, two series <laughs> you're talking about. But so this has mistaken the the two series for the three series. So the three series has always been a sedan. It's not often that we um, get to test sedans these days because um, there's a lot of SUVs on the road. Um, but yeah, so this is still a sedan, a three series <laughs> sedan. Um, yeah, and then we've got the um, other seat belts oh, here and we've got the air vents here the um like a climate control and then like when it comes on it'll say 16.5 like you can't switch it on now because it's the car's off and there's no uh pouches here okay and then there is two usb-c ports there okay let's go in the front okay let's go into the front. 
So I'm here. <laughs> because, so uh, here is the lock and unlock system here. We've got uh, set one and two. Uh, the electric windows can open all four and then you can lock the windows um, I'm not sure what these That's for the mirrors the mirrors and then this is also for the mirrors yeah so that's to adjust the mirrors and this is to open and close the mirrors so you can see we can it's powerful mirrors and then you can put a little bit of snack here and then more snacks here and then uh, just snacking the whole day and then water bottles here and then uh, you've got your Harman Kardon speakers there and then uh, we've got a little car here yeah we've got a little car there but before we get in we've got the M um, step plate here um, this is a um, electronic seat so as Isa is showing us now Okay, but I need to get in, so you need to go back. <laughs> okay, so let's just go back. No. <laughs> okay, and then here is um, for your light, and you can see that there is ambient lighting as well. Okay, let's just get inside. <laughs> okay, so you can see there was a little closet. Says M. This is the hyper screen. Um, we'll just skip that. We can see the infotainment system here, um, the weather, the news, and then we've also got like apps. We've got um, BMW ID, mobile devices, personal assistant. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, radio, telephone, navigation is just to see where you are. Then it's also got like office places you can show. And then if we go back, where do we go back? Okay, so you can control it from the screen or you can control okay, so from here. We go back and then we've got weather, news, live vehicle, system settings, in interior lighting, interior lighting, BMW assistance, owner's handbook, automatic, automate, ha automate <laughs> habits, uh, Bluetooth, it's blue connected to Bluetooth, uh, home, BMW messages, uh, digital key, general U disk. So that's your um, your uh, USB disk. And then we've got uh, messages, Wi-Fi connections, your service partner, Climate control, connect, drive store, displays, doors and windows, driving settings, exit, exterior light, uh, and vehicle status. status. Okay, so there's quite a lot of apps here, um, as Isa has shown us, um, lots of things to play around with. Okay, so while we're here in the front, let's look at the multi-function steering wheel. So there's the multi-function steering wheel. Um, it is uh, the normal M multi-function steering wheel. It's not the new one that we saw in the X1 as yet. We've got the paddle shift here. We've still got everything as normal. So um, if you're used to BMW, you'll know that this is the standard M. Uh, performance uh, multifunction steering wheel. Um, what is new though is obviously the um, two screens or the hyper screen as it is called. Um, so that is new oh, um, and before we go there 
Okay, um, so we've got the two screens, so that is something new. And then the gear selector is also something new. So we've um, got... And then <coughs> with the with the new screen you can see that this whole thing has been taken out so that um, to make room for the climate control on the screen like we did with the X1 um, that we was also launched at the same time as this BMW uh, 3 Series LCI. Yes Isa, what do we have? So we've got here what I showed you media home map, tell, nav, map or nav uh, we've got to control your uh, screen back option. Um, we've got your gear selector, reverse, neutral, drive, and sport. Park, park also there, and park here, and then auto what? Auto hold, and then auto. we've got the electronic brake. And then we've got Eco Pro, Comfort and Sport are the different which we'll show you. So the ambient lighting will also change when we move into um, these different um, selections. So and then we've got the start engine stop button. We've got a little uh, compartment. compartment here which has got a USB-C port. We've also got a USB port here, wireless charging, 12 volt port and two cup holders there and then, you can, and then close. you can close that so that is quite nice to have so if you've got the wireless charging you can just close that okay and quite a nice design here as well as there and With then we've got the glove compartment the here. glove compartment there up here we've got the vanity mirrors with the lighting in with illumination and this vanity mirror here on the side and as then well. We've got the uh, buttons for the uh, sunroof. Okay, we've got a sunroof as well, which we'll show you now. And we've then we've got, got the, the re reading the, lights. Okay, we've, we've got those lights as well. Uh, okay, so let's put on the car. Okay. So you can hear that roar when it starts. Let's just put it in sport. You can see that that changes there. Okay. If we put it into eco, it changes again. And if we put it into comfort, that changes. So all the screens change. Okay, and then we've also got the heads up display. So if we uh, zoom in there you can see the heads-up display if we in sport that's what it looks like if we in comfort that's what it looks like and if we in eco then that's what it looks like so it's got the um, speed as well as the speed limit on there and then the sport obviously looks much fancier and if we just rev that we can hear how nice that okay. sounds. Um, how about I can like uh, video the back and then you just can uh, switch it on. Okay, so Isa will go to the back and he will just, I will rev for him and he will just um, get what it sounds like from the back. Okay. very loud according to Isa. Um, it was quite loud here in the car as well um, but we used to it and we like the sound of it. Okay so let's talk about um, oh we didn't show you the bucket seats. The bucket seats that's got the 
um, emblem here, yes. and then there's just like a plastic on it. Yeah, because it's still new. Okay, so don't take that plastic off and don't play with it. Um, <laughs> and then you can see we've got the M bucket seats, which are quite nice, quite comfortable. Okay, so let's, oh, we were supposed to, while the car was on, let's just open the sunroof. So the sunroof is a tilt or a slide. Okay, and then you can obviously slide it back and then close it. Okay, so that is the sunroof. So let's talk about the BMW M340 ILCI. This is the X Drive. Um, so, quite a lot of new things. Um, I like that the gear selector has changed. Um, I like the new screen as well. Um, the new lights. Oh, we need to show you the lights as well when we go out. Why don't we just show you now, actually? Let's put the car on. Check the lights outside. Okay, so there we can see the blue accents here and the LED, BMW LED lights. You can there. see it's lighted up the blue part. Yes. And then if we go to the rear, then we've got the L shape there, which is quite nice. Okay, let's go back inside. So this is what the car looks like all around. Okay, and that's obviously the pipes. Okay, so the um, BMW M340i X Drive LCI. Um, it's a very powerful engine. It's a three liter six cylinder engine. It's an eight speed automatic. It's producing 275 kilowatts and they claim zero to 100 kilometers in 4.4 seconds. We tested it out. I think we did about five, maybe even six seconds, but we'll check to be sure. Um, again, but claims are 4.4 seconds from 0 to 100, quite phenomenal. And um, we've got the 19 inch rims, it's exceptional around the bends, and no pun intended. Um, it's got my favorite tires on it, it's a Bridgestone, and yeah. I like it, the X drive obviously being an all wheel drive, so it handles very well, um, exceptionally well around the corners around everywhere just it, it sticks to the road basically um i i like that we st we still get sedans here in south africa because everyone is moving to suvs so it's nice to to still get a nice sedan um the three series is quite iconic it's been around um well 50 years of m um and we just enjoyed it and i like the all new lci the new, um, like I said, gear selector, the new screen, the new lights, um, quite a lot to like in the new BMW M340i LCI. Um, pricing for this, um, you're looking at a base price of just over 1.2 million, um, but all the pricing will be on our website. Uh, similar pricing obviously for the M240i as well as the M340i. So all similar cars um, in terms of engine and, and specs but obviously the dimensions are, are different and now with the LCI we've got a few new differences that the M240i and the M440i didn't have. Um, but you can see our reviews for both the M240i, the m 
M440i and well obviously now the M340i on our website you can see the first look videos as well so that's the whole look of the video um, car interior and exterior and um, yeah so visit us on ilovezilla.com follow us on social media we at ilovez.com we're on Instagram Facebook Twitter LinkedIn YouTube and TikTok we um, if you're looking for motoring only, oh, we're also on threads, by the way. And if you're looking for motoring only, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. we at Let's Talk, Z-A-T-O-R-Q-U-E. Um, yes, and Isa would like to tell us about his three favorite things about the... Is it three things, 340 things? It's a three series, so should only be three. <laughs> but I must tell you that Isa is quite the... Uh, BMW fan that's why he's got the BMW M Motorsport cap he went to M Fest last year it was um, a dream come true for him so Isa might have 340 things that he likes about <laughs> the BMW uh, M340i okay Isa tell us some of the things that are your favorite okay so it's the um Hyper screen. Okay, so Isa likes the new screen. Yes. The um the sunroof. The sunroof. Isa always loves sunroofs. Um you can see that um he's his dad's son because I always love a sunroof. <laughs> um the new like BMW badge on the M on this BMW. Car. Okay, so the fifty years of M badge, yes. Um. Um. The LEDs. Okay, the LEDs, the new LEDs. Mm, the spoiler. The rear spoiler. Well, all the the whole M performance kit around. I suppose you like. Yeah. Mm. I'll just say the rest of it, the whole car. You'll just say the whole car. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> so Isa um, says he loves the whole car. He probably rates it a hundred out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> or is it three forty out of ten? Okay. Three hundred forty out of three hundred forty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, so that's it from us today on Let's Talk today. Like I said, uh, visit our website for more. Follow us on social media. I'm Ziad. Uh, this is Isa. We love BMW M. <laughs> no, and we love Z. <laughs>